Sometimes you discover things by accident, and this is one of those times. I don't really remember how I discovered this, but there's something that's called nest.css. And this is a nice little framework that you can use if you want to apply a little bit of retro styling to your design. And it's on this link, nostalgic-css.github.io slash nest.css. And they provide you with, yeah, a few elements that you can use. So we have the text, we have radio buttons and checkboxes, we have inputs, text areas, uh, select elements, we have containers, and we have both dark and light uh, theming here. We have dialogues. Uh, yeah, and as you can see, if you can see here, I pressed here, you can see the code for the different elements if you click this button here. And you have different tables and progress bars. You have avatars. You have this, what they call balloons, like a nice little chat window. And also there's uh, some icons and also some retro style social media icons. We have Mario and a few other characters here. And that's great. And I thought I could show you how to get this up and running. I'm not going to show you how to create all of these elements because you can just read it here. So this is mostly a fun little tip for me that you can try out if you want to have that retro feeling on your stuff that you code. All right, so we can check out the installation. I open up the GitHub page and you can just uh, click the button here and it will lead you to this page. And here you can see the usage. So we have the link here. I'm importing it by CDN now. You can also do an NPM install, but I will use these links here. Um, so they also recommend this uh, Google font. So you import that also and set it up here. So go to this page and just copy these links here. And I have this uh, empty index.html file here that I've opened up in my code editor. So first we're going to create the regular boilerplate for an HTML document. So we have the doc type of HTML and then we have, yeah, HTML language. We can set it one to English. We have the head and we have the body like so. And in the head, I'm going to paste the links. So we import the CSS. So we import the CSS and we import the font here. We can also create a title. Awesome uh, Ness CSS. All right. Just going to see. Yeah. I'm going to set up the font here now also. I actually have it installed on my system. Just create a style like this. Um, and on the HTML, the body, the pre, the code, the KBD, this is exactly as they describe it in the instructions. Samp. And we're going to set the font family to press start 2P. And then we can have the fallback fonts like that. Let's do some auto formatting. And yeah, it put it on their own rows. Okay. All right, then we can start creating some fun stuff. And we do that in the body tag. So first I'm going to set just some margin on the body. So I do that with inline styling. I set the margin to 20 pixels, right? Then I create a div with a class name of nest-container and with title. Okay, so this will hopefully give us a nice little container. I go back and I reload this. Uh, of course, I need to have some content in it also. So we can just set a title. This is Ness CSS. I save it. So what I did here is to create a class that will create this border. And I created a header. And this looks retro already. But let's say that we want this header to be up here. As they do in the examples here. Then we can assign a class to the first element, and that's the age to title. Just give it the class of title, save it, and reload. And as you can see, it is placed up here instead now. So that's great. That's our container. Okay, then we can have an uh, h to title. 
I love retro. And then I want a heart. So I have an I with a class of Nest Dash icon. And is medium. This is how you set the size. You can have is small, is large, or is medium. And I want a heart. Whoops. Something is wrong here. Yeah, I have to have a quote. Okay, so this is how you create an icon. Save it. Reload it. As you can see, we have this nice little heart here, and that's great. I can set it to is small. And we have a really small heart, but that's not what we want. We want it to be medium. All right. Then I want to have a nice little Mario figure here. So I create a P tag, and this is mostly because I want it to be on another row. I don't want to style it, so I'm just using a P tag here to place it on its own row. So I create another I with a class of Ness-Mario. Save it, we reload, and there he is. That's great. Okay, then I'm going to create a few buttons. I also wrap these in P tags to get them on their own row. So we have a button, or type button. I give it a class of Ness-BTN is-primary. So I create a primary button. Got the quote again. And yeah, we can just call it primary. And I'm going to copy this row and create another button just to show you a few button types here. And I'm going to change this to is success. You have a few more button types if you check out the documentation. But I'm not going to show you all of them here. Save it and reload. This is a primary button, and it has this uh, hover effect and also the click effect, and that's nice. I like this pixel art. It's really great. Okay, so that's two buttons. Then I want to create a dialog. So I create a new section, and I create a button for the dialog. It's going to be type button, just as before. And the class is going to be ness-bdn-is-primary. So that's uh, exactly the same button as I created up here. Uh, this one is also going to have an on-click event. So from the document dot get element by id, I'm going to grab the element that is called dialog default. And this is all set up by default in Nest CSS. And then we call a function that's called show modal. Show modal like that. And that one is built in in Chrome. So if you're not using Chrome, I'm not sure if this will work because they don't provide any JavaScript to this one. Do some auto formatting. I thought it will put it on its own row. I will do that instead myself, because I think it's cleaner. And it shouldn't be capital C. I'm used to <laughs> working in React, and in React you have capital C. It should be a lowercase c here. Okay, so that's our button for the model. Then we can just type show me. And then we close the button. All right. And then we have the dialog with a class of ness-dialog and an ID of dialog-default. We have a form with a method of dialog. We have a P class of title. Ah, title and dialog. Another P tag. Oh, cool. 
is this. And of course, you can type in whatever you want. We have another button. Class nest-bdn. Cancel. And the last button with a class of nest-bdn is-primary. Confirm. All right. I think that's it, actually. This is the dialog, so I save this and reload my page. Yeah, it's outside of that one. That's not good. I will move it up inside of the div. Save it and reload it again. And there it is. So show me. And as you can see, we have the dialog here, and that's cool. And it works. So that's great. That's how you create a dialog with a Nest CSS. And I'm also going to show you some neat little figures down below here. So I create another section. Class. Icon dash list. And I created Mario just uh, up here. Yeah, there, and you can create some other figures also. So we have an eye with a class of uh, Nest Mario again. You can show that sucker there also. No, he's not a sucker. He's actually really cool. I love Mario. And I can paste these ones in, I think. Yeah, that's six of them. Let's do all of them. So we have Ness Mario and we have Ness Ash. We have Pokeball or Pokeball Bulba Sour Charmander Squirtle. All right, and Kirby. Do some auto formatting and save it. And there we are. Great. So I think this is a cool little framework to play around with. And I wanted to show you this to get your attention on this one because it's fun to do this stuff sometimes and don't you don't always have to be that serious when you code stuff. So try this out, nest.css, and I see you in another video.